Here we go. Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, we're going to have lots of fun tonight. Um, I'm Sandy of Lolly and Sand, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. Um, we're going to make two beautiful cards tonight. Oh, I keep shaking the table. Stop shaking the table, Sandy. We're going to make two beautiful cards tonight. But before we... Um, I received a message, a private message, asking for me to tell you something about myself. So I will. I wrote a couple notes. I don't like talking about myself. Okay. I worked for the same company for 37 years and I retired, I think about five years. There we go. <laughs> My video stopped. Oi. So we're going to have issues apparently. I'm sorry, you're over here. I'm going to have issues with Facebook tonight. Anyway. Um, so I worked for 37 years for the same company, retired about five years ago. I have two grown kids. And um, when I say I live in Ontario, I live in the Niagara region. Um, and, I, and I had this idea a year and a half ago, well, a little bit more than that, probably two years ago, um, to buy a house with my daughter and her husband. And that way I could be the granny nanny. I didn't know it was going <laughs> There it goes talk about myself neither do I um so other than my paper passion stamping up my other passion is paper quilling and I'm going to get to it and I'm going to show you a sample so is that the right button to turn you down to my desk it is not you're looking I don't know why it always seems to move when I go to turn things how weird is that let's fix this oh my goodness well, still haven't fixed all the problems. Oh, I can. I have to move this closer to me. Okay, so this is my other paper passion. This is paper quilling. It's not done yet. I still have to fill in this space here. But most of these new new items that I'm making, uh, the the they're going to be. It's going to be framed in a um, shadow box. Has about sixty of these cut flowers, and I hand cut those myself. Okay, enough about me. Stop talking about yourself. Okay. But that's what I do when I'm not making cards. Hey, Bea. Welcome, welcome. Okay, let's get to it. So tonight, I don't know if you saw this. Did you see this in the catalog, the Silly Goose? This is in the um, the mini catalog. Silly Goose. And I thought, well, they're cute. And I always say, oh, I don't like, I don't like, you know, making cutesy cards. So I decided to make them look a little grown up. So they're still cutesy. But anyway, so this is Silly Goose. You have these four good-sized images. And then you have all these sayings. And I just thought they were so cute. Like, a Silly Goose told me it's your birthday. And it says, this Silly Goose forgot. Um, you've got a friend in me. We have Goosebumps. Sending gaggles of good wishes. Sending a big honk and thanks. I like that. And I'm here for you. Then there's also grass as well. So this lends itself to a bit of coloring and uh, I suggest we get to that. Um, this is the um, red rubber because you don't need to see through this to um, to stamp. So move that out of the way. Um, we're looking at page 27 of the catalog by the way. I was looking at their samples and I thought well I'm not I didn't fussy cut any of mine. I did, I've, I've done a lot of fussy cutting recently and uh, not this time. So, all right, so let's get card number one out. And actually, you know what I need? I need this. My Stamparatus. <laughs> it's great for positioning. And it's also great. Oh, oh, what's in the way this time? What is in the way of the camera? It's making this dark spot on this side. I do not know. Oh, I swear this is going to drive me nuts. This never happens. So is it on this side or this side? It's on this side. There's, oh, I know what it is. Okay. Oh, you can only push this so far over. All right. There. Let's move in. Oh, if you're not having technical difficulties, yeah. Alrighty, so what I have here is my Stamparatus. This is no specific size. Um, I am going to be 
using my Stamparatus on this. And because it's a full-size stamp, I find that, that the Stamparatus is the best thing to use. I do have a scrap piece of paper because when you use your blends, you don't necessarily want a big dark blob. I don't think I fixed the problem. Why? I don't know why. Because the cameras are on this side. I don't know what is in the way. I honestly don't. Oh, that's going to drive me crazy. It says it's over here. But my camera's on the other side. So why is it having difficulties? Could it? I don't know. I'm lost. Lost. I'm going to move you again and see if it changes. In the meantime, we're using one of the in colors. This is my favorite in color of the, the newer, the 2022 to 2023, 22, I forget. Anyway, Starry Sky. Oh, that got rid of it. Oh, good gracious. It was part of my stand again. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. <laughs> I'm just going to say some hellos while I'm doing this. So I did say hi, Bea. Hi, Kathy and Sandy. Uh, let's see. You caught me live when someone else is cooking supper. Yay. <laughs> Yay. And there's Elsie as well. Hello, Elsie. All right. So now I'm going to concentrate on this. All right. And anybody new watching, let me know and let us know where you're from. So I have a couple of team members on here tonight. So I'm just using my blending brush. This is my blue. I use it for all my blues. All of them. All right. So I'm, the dark the dark part's going to be the bottom. And I am going to go over wide. Even though the card itself, I think on the piece it's like four, three and three quarters by five maybe. It's a die. All right. And I want this lighter up here. I see circles in all that, but it's not going to bother me because guess what? You're going to see some embossing tonight. Oh, yeah, we're going to emboss, too. We're going to do a bunch of embossing, so it's going to get loud once we do that. But no worries. Usually I can squeeze a fair bit out of these because there's lots of color on here. So I'm going to leave it at that because I do have one waiting in the wings that is already ready to go. It looks pretty scrappy. Um, not concerned. For the and the other reason for that is because um, there's an image that's going to go on top of it, so it's not going to matter. Now, when you're doing your embossing, use a little embossing buddy. I think Stampin' Up calls it something different now, because you get it with the uh, the tweezers and the little tray to catch the extra um, embossing powder and such. All right, let's get my Versa mark, and then this big stamp. So this stamp is called Hand Drawn Dots, also in the mini. So I thought, why not use two products? If you can use one, why not do two or three? Or I don't even know. So this is why I'm using this Stamparatus. Because if I don't get it right the first time, I can do it again. Which you can't do when you are stamping with this on a large block. And this takes like the biggest block we have. Okay. And sorry, this is going to jiggle this a little bit. This is one of those things you want to take your time on too. Just take your time, take your time and cover the whole area. Good. So put the lid on that, store it upside down and get my heat tool. Take this out of here without scratching anything. And I'm going to move this aside. Oh, my good granny. That is not good. And I like to tainer. Everything falls back in. Um, well, of white, because I seem to use a lot of white embossing powder. Um, we're going to use a different color for the second card. I think we're back. Okay. It looks like we're back. So I thought I would go ahead and start heating this. Hey, 
And we're back. Okay, so be careful of this. It's very hot. And this is a large surface, so it's going to take a little while. This is why this is why I didn't care about the size of the paper. Um, there's no way I'm going to put my finger close to this. And I will it gets trimmed down. Yowza, that's hot. <laughs> Keep it moving. Sometimes I miss some of them and I don't find out till after. So I'm looking for them all to be shiny. Ow. <laughs> Ow, yep, it's still hot. I suppose it's good I have this already cut, but I think embossing is one of those things that you just have to, I just, I don't ever get tired of the magic. Like it still is fun for me to watch all these change. Isn't that cool? If we continue with the signal for a couple, it, you might be thinking, why did you just put snow on top of your picture? It's not. Alrighty, let's get the pieces out to the card. Really simple. Here's my card base, and you're going to be shocked. It's not, not the same weight, or is it? Oh, it is. This is four and a quarter by 11. Scored at five and a half. And there we go. I took one of my... goes this way. I took one of my... Um, stitched rectangles and I believe again the size is about three and a quarter by five give or take and I would I wanted that on the card now I have to do some coloring so let's get to that we'll do that quick the rest of the card is really easy really really it's not hard at all actually now this is going to look a little crazy that I have so many colors um I think I had them out and then I didn't use some of them or did I? Okay, so the first thing I want to do is use Light Orchid Oasis. And I think I've been too strong lately. Starry Sky. We'll go to Pumpkin Pie. <laughs> Away from the edges. You don't really have to get that close. And, I hope we're in frame. And I used, this is one of the new colors, Light Alrighty, next. I'm not talking a lot because it's like I keep losing the signal and you'll be like, where'd she go? Alright, and this is, remind me, light sweet sorbet. Okay, I do like this color too, a lot. And all I'm going to do is go dot, dot, dot. What I forgot? I'm not, I have this, um, it's a little bit embarrassing. This is what I use to color so I can actually see what I'm doing. It doesn't look really great, but I should put that on so I can see. You don't have to see it, just I have to see what I'm doing. Alrighty, let's see. And then I have two colors for the hat. I have ivory and I have light pumpkin pie, really? Okay, I don't remember that. I think I used ivory. Okay, so we'll do the hat real quick. Again, and the whole hat that is, even the brim, because, let that dry for a second. And I just noticed, I believe there's another flower up here. If I pick this up and look at it closer, why, yes, there is, and some leaves. Okay, well, let's go with this color. The same as the frog, so this is the light granny apple green. So this is a leaf. Oh, I think I colored the wrong thing. Oh, no, bad Sandy. I am so sorry. I, I thank you for those who have stuck around. Um, it's... It's really, really frustrating when you lose your signal. So I'm just going over with ivory. Can you see that that's just a little bit, just a tiny bit darker than the actual hat? And that's all we need. So don't need that. And we'll finish putting the card together. So I'm going to glue this down.
No, I'm not. <laughs> no, you're not. Look at the card, Sandy. You're going to put on, this is the metallic woven ribbon in the annual catalog, and this happens to be Starry Sky. So I'm just going to go all wonky with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Really, you know, when you think of it, the card doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be something that looks pretty to you. All right, so I'm not putting a lot of thought into that. And I'm not tying a bow for this one. I just had I just had tails off the side. And I will trim that down. Now the one thing I wanted to say is if you don't have the Stampin' Up! Um, paper snips, you should probably get them. I actually use them to make all those fringed flowers you saw at the beginning. Um, I've tried so many pairs of scissors and those are perfect. Now you're not trimming flowers, mind you. However, they're nice and sharp and they won't let you down. And if you're left-handed, they're not going to hurt your hand unless you're going to cut for hours. Because I don't think, I didn't really say if they're left or right, but since I use mine left, it is what it is. Now, if the signal hangs around long enough and you're still here, um, at the end of the video, I have three more cards using this set. So I want to ask you, is this a set you thought? Uh, no. <laughs> it's just a thought. It's just a thought there. Is it, is it card where you, or, you know, you just went, I, I, no, no, that's not for me. I'm just curious because I just thought it was just so pretty. Yes, surely there is a problem with the video. It's, it's, it's going crazy. It is going crazy. Um, my internet, for some reason tonight, I have no idea why. No idea why it keeps stopping. So I am terribly sorry. I wish there was something I can do about it, but unfortunately... Oh, I'm going to put that on upside down. Could be the sky. The sky could be dark, but no. I did that upside down too. Oh, poop. <laughs> you know what? We'll fix that. We'll fix its wagon, won't we? We'll just take this. Oh, and I'm just reading Sandy says that she's going old school and using a chalk brush. You okay, my little bow thingy's on the wrong side, or my little that, but too bad. What it is before my before my glue dries. Alrighty. Here we go. I think last week my, my video had zero problems. So when you make an oops like that, and you've gone ahead and put your glue on, just go and change it a little bit. If I, if I had noticed after I put this on, I would have taken it off. But I didn't. So all that means is I'll move it a little bit. That's all. Okay, next. Sorry, you didn't notice the stamp set. Indeed. All right, so I'm just going to put this, um, yeah, right about there. It, and I have gone ahead and taken one of the sentiments and, um, okay, while I'm watching, and we're back again. So, I was just saying, Marjorie, you may have noticed now that, that um, the signal keeps going out, and I don't know why, and it's driving me crazy. All right, and the only color I could decide, I decided I wanted on these is the rhinestones, and you know they're my fallback. I may or may not have mm, more than six packages of these. That's how much I love them. All right, so that is card number one, my friends. Let's get to card two while we've got a signal. Okay. Okay, card number two. We're using the same random piece of white paper. Basic white. Doesn't it's not the thick, it's just the regular. And we're gonna we're gonna do that embossing thing again, but with a different color. So before I put my magnets on, and remember do not put these magnets together. They're very, very strong and they will break if they hit each other. Now mine have, and I, I got lucky. Okay, I got lucky. Oh, you can see they're very strong. Okay, back to this. 
there's not too many backgrounds that I don't use the embossing buddy. Alrighty, so let's get to Versamark. If, you're vers if you find that your Versamark is not, like the powder's just not sticking very well, then you need to get the refill. Um, I'm, I don't think it's um, on our, I don't think it's unorderable at this point, so you can pick that up in at my uh, online shop. I do believe the link is in the description. And there we go. Let's give this a good push and push and push and push and push and push and push. I don't have the strongest hands. It's probably easier if I stood up, but I'm not going to. Same with this. I don't need this much. I will be trimming it. However, I want it to be this big because you can always use the extra. Looks pretty good. I see it's a little spot down here that I'm not seeing the dots or I didn't push hard enough. So we'll just do that again. And that's that's why the stamp brand is just so good. Um, there's another plate that goes here. I just don't need it tonight, so I've taken it off. That looks good. All right, so take that one off. Take, slide that out, move this away. All right, and then we're bringing this paper back because this time I'm using silver. All righty, let me know you're still there, by the way. I don't see that the comments have changed, so I, I need to know that you're still there. All right, kind of roll it back and forth. Probably, I need to get more silver. I'm so bad about not using, like about using so much white, not the other colors. Come on, over you go, down you go. Sometimes when I pour it back in, it hits the spots that I need, but it's not. So we'll do it piece by piece. Probably a better way of doing it. The paper's there only to catch the excess so I can pour it into the container. Oh, still here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. All right. Does everybody heat emboss? Like sometimes I just... I show you my finished piece and then you're like, I don't know. Do you know how to heat and box? All right. One tip, put the lid on. Hey, Lila. Um, I'm having little difficulties with the signal. So if, if I happen to, if it happens to stop, stay here. It'll come back. Just heating up my heat tool for a moment. Off screen. Look at those dots. But you don't have to do the whole piece. It was just my choice on card number two to do it this way. And card number two, once this is done, it is so quick and easy. I am going to ask for your help. Because my daughter said it looked like a baby card. And that was not my intention. My intention was to make a grown-up card using... The silly goose. You think a grown-up card with a critter? Hmm. Well, we'll see. And I wanted, I wanted lots of shine, like a mirror kind of. And I think this pretty well does the trick. I originally wanted to do this in copper, but I couldn't find it. So. Because I know you get three colors with the metallics, and you get gold, silver, and copper or bronze. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've ordered it because I've had it for so long. Okay, how shiny is that? All right. And let's turn that on. All right. Oh, it's not sitting up right, but I think we're okay. Okay, and now the trimmer. And now I read my notes because I don't want to cut it the wrong way. 
Okay. So, I need this. One second. I'll use a rag to get the excess paper off. I need this to be four inches wide. So, I'm going to cut right about about there, just to get that size down. I'm going to cut the bottom off, actually. That would make sense. Four inches by five and a quarter. So I can cut it right about here. And I think we're still good. Five and a quarter, five and a quarter. Whew, we're close. And then four inches. Let me just see. Four inches is right here. And now if I had cut that along here, I would have been able to use that maybe on the inside of the card. I can still cut it. It's just, it's a skinny piece now. It makes it a little bit harder. There we go. Let's show you parts of the card so you can help me with part two. All right. So this is quite unusual for me to mat this in white, but I did. And then I put ribbon around. So I used... <laughs> Come here. I used the pool party ribbon that you see me use so often, but there's a second choice, which is it's the um, three twine combo pack of um, twine. So you get pumpkin pie, garden green, and Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana. I was wrong. Coastal Cabana is really pretty. Now, the reason I'm asking for your opinion is because. This is the base of the card, which is Blessing Bride. So, let me know. I'm going to put these two pieces together. This is the same base as the previous card. So it's four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And then use your bone folder and get that nice and flat. So, I will put these together while you're thinking about it. You might not be able to make that decision until I do the teeny tiny bit of coloring that goes with it. So I'm using Tombow. You can use whatever you like. And if you're looking in the catalog, it's under multi-purpose. Just making sure that's the right side. Not that it matters. Alrighty. So again, this is four by five and a quarter. And the next size up, which is the basic white, is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. It's going to go on there, but I'm not going to put it down yet. Uh, I need my little piece. We're going to use some polished dots. Milky dots. I keep calling them polished dots. And we're using, this is going to be a thanks card. And all I'm going to do, gonna, all I'm going to do is this. Color the beak. Now my preference was to use, um, Oh, what color was that? Mango, mango melody. But I pulled the, I pulled it out of the, I pulled the structure out, and I'll have to see if I can get that back in. I was watching. I think it's. I don't think it was Rachel Tessman or Lisa Curcio where they said, "Give it a little twist before you like. Don't just pull it straight off." And I've always pulled them straight off. And um, even. Though they've opened numerous times with no problem. This time there was a problem. Alrighty. So, this will go... Oh, wait a second. There's more. Hang on. I'm glad I look at my card. Okay. So, I also die cut out of the same Blushing Bride cardstock some of the, the Ginkgo Branch flowers. And they are going to go about here, about here. You know what, I used a bigger circle. I'm like, why does this not look right? I used a bigger circle. Hang on, hang on, un momento. I was using my stylish shapes. I used this one, the largest, when what I really meant to do was use this one. So can I do that? I sure can, I sure can. Let's do it. Sorry, I'm going to jiggle the table. I do apologize, but that was not the size I wanted. And that's what happens. And I, I know this looks really close. 
really, really close to the camera, so you can't. It wasn't really the intention. All right, so Julie was just saying she had to replace a lot of the blends because she can't get them open, and, and you've had, then they've been open before. Wow. And I find that all of a sudden, that looks centered. That looks centered. I find that all of a sudden, now I'm pulling them apart, and that's kind of weird that that's happening. All right, just running that through with the next size down of Stylish Shapes. There we go. Kathy likes the twine. Marjorie likes the twine. And I haven't shown enough love to that twine, so you know what? I'm going to use the twine. Okay, if you ever have the same problem as me, where your bottom plate, your dedicated bottom plate is so scratched up and so messed up that the piece gets stuck, you can bend it or you can just go under it very lightly and pick it up. Then you get your piece without wrecking it. Now this will make more sense because before it was too big. Except I really like the beak in the, in the more yellowy color. Okay, so we're going to use the twine. It's going to look something like that. All right, so I have a bow already made. And what I might just do is get my scissors and cut the ends. You know I don't like my ends the same. It's kind of like, it's kind of like my hair, you know? I have numerous colors in there that are all my own. My hair is not um, dyed in any way. And um, and it just does its own thing. One side flips out, one flips under. So, you know, one can be longer than the other and it doesn't matter. It's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to go around the card since you can't really, you're not really going to be seeing much of it. Can I just put that bow there? Nope, I'm going around. I'm going around. Alrighty, so let's get... I like to use tear and tape for this. I don't have to go all the way around. Just like last week, I'm not wasting twine. I'm not wasting ribbon. What a pretty color that is, isn't it? That's just such a pretty color. All right, so find the end. All righty. And I think we were going about this low. Come back, come to Sandy. There we go. And you know the sets that don't have um, that don't have dies with them. I, maybe they're less noticeable. I'm, I'm not sure how, how that how that works. Um, I just know I've been through the catalog catalog mini catalog so many times, so many times. Now you notice what I did? Make sure I'm not putting this on upside down. Yes, and they're nice narrow narrow borders. Sometimes I'll go smaller, but other times I just, it, it just depends. I have, there's no rhyme or reason. I'd say, I'd say I know why, but I have no idea how I decide. All right. For this, glue seems a little futile. So I will use my take your pick tool. Grab one of those, put it on just on the bottom. And let's see approximately where that's going. About there. So that can go about there. And I like the glue dots because if I change my mind, I could just pull it out. Pull it out. And you're done. And then this is a trick I learned ages ago. Put a little ribbon on it. So if you happen to drop it, which I have, um, it won't unroll the whole thing all over the floor while you're doing a class. <laughs> it's been a while, but yeah, it has happened. It looks like my internet has settled down and we're actually not um, having as many issues. And those can go there. All right. So I'm, I'm holding this like it's glued down, but it, it isn't yet. So, you know, when you pick up your dimensionals, you should put them in the exact same spot when you want to put them down. Alrighty. One, two. Now this is a thank you card, so what I would be doing is be I'd be putting it would be blank on the inside, which it is right now. However, I would I'm gonna cut those down. So I'm gonna put this right here so I can kinda hide the glue dot. I will cut those down. That's they're way too long. And with the glue dot, 
I am going to turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. We're going to make it into like a little, little long piece of glue dot. That, that, that makes so much sense. And put it on the back. And let go. now it's stuck to my finger, of course. <laughs> go figure. It's so weird that my live video, I can see it uh, of the corner of my eye, and it's playing, and it's back at the, before I've heat embossed this. Bizarro. Bizarro. So this is kind of what you call a phobo. So I'll cut that one up here. So it looks, and it looks like it goes all the way around, but it does not. So why don't you call it? Maybe a, a cheater bow, kind of. All right, next, I did say I was going to put on some of these guys. And I did look at it, and I, I went, these look like the color goes with it. And I don't think there's specific colors on these. And I am going to go with the smaller, because you have different sizes here. Alrighty, so we're almost done. And then I can show you the other cards I made with this. Actually, yeah, I will go here. Alrighty, those are the Milky Dots. And there's the card. So card number one is here. Here's the original where I remembered to do this on this side. A little darker, a little lighter, really doesn't matter. So, oh, you know what I forgot to do was that. But watch. You just watch. You can change. I can hear my grandson. He's having a bath on the second floor. I can hear him like he's across the hall from me, <laughs> but he isn't. There we go. Put in some water. Ta-da! Alrighty. And then my original of this card, so I'll show it to you with the, with the um, pool party ribbon as well. This is why my daughter thought it looked like a baby card. And maybe because this was a lighter color as well. So this is this is the um, Mango Melody. All right, let's show you some more cards. I don't know if those all show. Here, get some of this stuff out of the way. Too much stuff. Oh, and always put the lid back on, and I like to store mine upside down. And same with this, because it's, it's surprisingly sharp, as are these. Alrighty. Well, not surprisingly. Okay, here we go. So... And I wrote myself some notes so I could remember. All right, so here's a thank you card where I did use the big circle. And this is the ready-to-ride paper that I used in last week's video. Remember that was black and shiny? This is one of the backside patterns. Cool? Yes? No? All right. This one is it's from the same set. I just used some blends. Everything's there. This is the um, rats. I've used it so many times. Let's just call it the glitter ribbon. Yeah. And then the background um, is this same color, which I believe is, uh-oh. Oh, I'm so bad with colors. I can't remember. Anyway, I did the, the background is from the loveliest layer masks that are in the mini. The other mask you get with this is a two-step flower, which I haven't even used yet. I'm getting there. Okay, then I wanted to show you that you didn't have to use the entire page like this. So what I did, I thought I have to do something different. I've done circles, I've done circles, I've done circles, right? I've done like loads of circles. So what I did is I wanted to find a wonky die. So I did. This, I believe, is not in the package. It wasn't in the package. This is from, I believe, Cottage Rose. And all I did was cut one one way, cut it the other, put it underneath. Uh, for this, see this teeny little tag? The tag's actually about this this long. And same thing I showed, showed you in previous videos. I just moved the die. I cut it, so it cut a full piece. Then I moved the die up. So this was way up here. And just cut that shorter. So I have this really adorable little tag. That I think is like, oh, so cute. Um, and the background, I went with the um, pretty, pretty flowers folder. Oh, these are these are tailor-made dice, what they're called. And that is that. So, like my favorite cards are 
like these guys. And these are my other cards to show you that you have options, my friends. You always, always have options. So um, that's what I have for you tonight. Again, I totally apologize for the internet that is acting goofy. It really, really helps me. Um, I, if you're a demo, you're not going to shop with me. I totally get that. But um, you can still comment. You can like. You can subscribe to my um, YouTube channel, which is Lolly and Sand, shockingly. Um, you can subscribe if you're on YouTube. It's best if it's your first time on YouTube. Subscribe and hit the bell. That way you're notified when I upload videos, which is like, if they'll cooperate, I do them every Tuesday, um, upload them, that is. Um, comments are always good. So, and if you want to join my wonderful team of crafty gals, then um, in the comments, up above, or not the comments, in the description, is the join button. There's a fabulous offer, but it ends the end of next month, which is February. So my friends, that's all I, that is what I have 